Mm -hmm. uh, but the effects of that are, well, it looks kind of hazy outside. And believe it or not, it actually does keep us a couple of degrees cooler. Uh, I've said it for the last few days. The sunlight comes in, it hits the smoke particulates, and it goes back out space, so it doesn't get all the way down to the ground to heat us up. But it looks hazy outside. We've got a couple of fair weather cumulus clouds popping up as well. 84 at the airport, calm wind, and dew point in the mid-60s. Typical summer, noon hour. Temperatures, 81, pretty common number in western Iowa, 81 as well. Columbus in Norfolk, up to 84 in Lincoln, 79 in York right now. Dew points in the mid to upper 60s for a lot of us, 70 though in Nebraska City and Harlan, uh, just a degree or two more humid compared to yesterday at this time. Winds, not much of a relief. Normally on a day where you have the, the humid air sitting near the ground, you want a little bit of a breeze to help cool you off. Not today. High temperatures say, well, I don't think we get into the 90s. Looks like this computer model just jumped up a little bit. I think we're at 89 in Omaha, but we could actually see some temperatures in the low 90s south and west toward Lincoln, Beatrice, maybe even mixing in toward Tecama because they like to be a little bit warmer than everyone else as well. Humid today, tomorrow, and on Thursday, and then another level of humidity coming up on Friday. It gets much more uncomfortable as we head into the weekend, and in some cases, dangerous. Thursday feels like temperature of 97. Friday and Saturday at 105, possibly even higher than that, and that feels like temperature over 100 degrees as we go into Sunday as well, but usually that 105 degree feels like temperature is where we start to say, okay, that's dangerous if you're going to be outside for any stretch of time. Quiet around the middle of the country. You can see those fair weather cumulus clouds popping up. Area of high pressure almost centered right over Omaha at the moment. Big ridge in the jet stream. That's going to keep the heat over us for several days. It's actually this little swirl west of Vancouver that is going to be the system that could bring a front in this weekend and possibly a pop-up thunderstorm. But you see the wildfires in California, Canada, the jet stream winds bring that across the central part of the country and even into the northeast. And that's where we have bad air quality. Northern Minnesota, even northern Wisconsin. Look at all the orange across the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. We have good air quality here because that smoke is still aloft, but it has far-reaching effects when you have wildfires that big. Temperatures near 90 today and tomorrow, 94 on Thursday, and then the impact weather from the high heat and humidity Friday and Saturday. You can be outside those days. Just remember, you need to take it a little easier, protect yourself, find shade, and drink a lot of water, and it'll stay hot heading into next week.